I'm an INFP. <laughs> the person who talks about things with people. Excuse me, little paintbrush. This is just incredible that there's just like this skyscraper behind me. I'm gonna wear it like a hat. So, <laughs> like, you look like the Pope. <laughs> free will. You want me to talk about free will? Yes. My view of free will, if you actually stop enough to like truly consider your experience, um, we don't actually even experience free will. So like some people will say that free will is an illusion and his whole argument is like, free will is not even, an, we don't even have the illusion of free will. Like we have the illusion that there's an illusion of free will. So anyway, I don't have like anything very novel to say on it. And it's like a very like long argument that I feel like I would be doing a disservice to if I like stated my thoughts on free will. So when I asked you to turn off the AC, mm. was that just destined to happen? Oh gosh, no. Okay. No, no, no. That's like, um, it, okay. Now you're talking about like, is that, um, like in, in um, response to the free will conversation. Yes. Yeah. No, I think that's like more akin to fatalism, like what that would mean, which is like everything is kind of like bound to happen in a certain area. Like things happen, things change, but like we, I guess as people, me, you are not like, there's not like this like homunculus, like this like little like person living in our heads that's like controlling things actually. Mm -hmm. like we don't actually control anything. Maybe that's not something that you want to <laughs> talk. I mean, it's, it's funny because in the context of this conversation, we're talking about how we want to control things. We do want to control things. Everyone does, but like, like ultimately I don't believe that we are the fundamental authors of the things we do. It's a very contentious statement to make. I realize that like, well, that's what I'm wondering of something so small. Yeah, it's true for everything. So you're saying something so small like turning off the AC. Yes, where I might have the thought, does it matter? Should we leave it on? Should I say something? And then I choose to say something. But that's what it is. It's like the, like zoning in on like that. You choose to say something. Who chose it? So you're saying it's not me. Well, like, who are you? You know what I mean? Everything's just kind of happening. Mm. Like. You could say that you landed on turning to, or like choosing to say something, right? And like, yeah, like colloquially, the way we use the word, yes, like there's nothing wrong with the way you're using the word. I say, I choose to do things I'm gonna, I want tea instead of coffee today. I choose this, yeah. But like, who, how did you land on that, right? Like, and did you choose you can say, well, it was too loud and that was bothering me. Well, why was it bothering you? Why today? Maybe another day wouldn't have bothered you. Mm -hmm. And it's all just like a combination of like multiple factors going on in your life that you have no control over. Everything else in the universe is, you did not want to take this conversation in this direction. No, I don't know, like, um, this is organic to me anyway. Yes, um, good. Check. But <laughs> yes, well done, well done. Um, everything else in the universe is tied into some causal chain. Like why are we the only entities outside of it, right? Like why are we or like our thoughts? It's like we realize that it's like brains, right? That are doing this, but then like we have no insight. Into, we don't even understand like most of what's going on in our brains we just like tell ourselves a story mm -hmm. and actually the science like validates this like the left hemisphere creates narratives after like your neurons fire and like start an action anyway i'm i'm like not fleshing this argument out like very like beginning to end yes yeah. but like i'm just kind of giving you like little lipids of different 
facets of this argument that I guess like come together. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you ask me a question about free will, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess at the like maybe this is a more interesting just because like I don't feel like prepared or um, what's the word? Um, articulate? Mm, no. Like I'm like the, the best source for like, mm. I'm not like a full, like a philosopher, right? Mm -hmm. um, Qualified. Yeah, qual thank you. Yes, I don't feel like qualified or like I don't know. There's so many sources out there for like things, but I guess like I can I tell guess you everything though. So why do we ever talk? <laughs> you well, know what I mean? th that's like, where I was about to go. You know, mm -hmm. like I can tell you about like what the impact is for me of mm -hmm. like having that kind of seeing things that way. Also, if we were to put all the humans and then topic of free will and how much you think about it or know about it or consider it you would definitely fall in the above average so you're more qualified certainly than I, myself and others you I, know what I mean I have I have had drown out conversations with people who like I don't know might have brought up the subject like expecting it to be like I don't know or like well you know I have free will and I'm like coming like actually you know like I've Oh, I've been that person on multiple occasions, and it's definitely, like, Christoph, like, my fiancé, the poor guy, has heard me have some version of this conversation with people so many times, and every time he just kind of, like, rolls his eyes, <laughs> he's just like, oh my god, here we go again. Um, I-N-T-J or B. Yeah. I don't know. I should confirm, but, um. I get I-N-T-J vibes, but. Yeah? yeah. Where do you get that? From him? Yeah. Um, I guess I don't really know, like, what the differences are too much. Um, that, I don't have a short answer, mm. so I'll tell you after. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I didn't have a short answer for anything that I said, and I still didn't actually communicate anything. <laughs> I feel like... Does that feel normal to you? What? When you're when you're expressing your thoughts and ideas? Yes. Oh my gosh. I feel like I think about things like really in depth. And so yeah, sometimes I don't feel like I'm articulating things perfectly. I definitely like feel like I communicate better in writing versus in um, speech for one. Um but also, I I can circle around a specific point, like, multiple times. And, like, I want to pick out the nuances in every little thing. And I really want to, like, fully develop something out, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, um, so I, yeah, I feel like I could ramble forever and not feel like, I fully addressed something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that frustrate you at all? Or it does, but I imagine it frustrates other people even more because it's just probably like, okay, yeah, we heard you. Um, but I'm like, maybe you didn't though, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, because I don't actually even feel like I fully conveyed it. And that's not to like change the fact that, okay, yeah, maybe it's time to change the subject. Like, you know, we can move on to something else, but also let it be known there's more like where we just earmarked that conversation mm -hmm. like we did not fully explore that let it be known <laughs> yeah yes. yeah mm -hmm. and i like will sometimes then purposely try to curtail like that conversation because i don't want to bore people oh yeah well it depends on who i'm with you know with yeah. you like we were just talking about this earlier like you and i could like just talk ad nauseum about almost anything like almost anything for a really really long time and like not really get tired of it I guess or if we do get we change a subject but like we acknowledge that we could have gone on forever yeah, yes. um 
So yeah, it definitely depends on who I'm talking to. Hmm. That's why I feel like you need to write a book. It have to be about the right thing. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like I have. I feel like if I were to write a book, it would either be like a like poetry or like some type of nonfiction that I would just research something obscure for years and make it like my passion project <laughs> and then write a book about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I have, I don't know, maybe it's my ADHD, but I feel like I can't do like a develop a whole novel. No. Have you thought about writing a book? No. But I do have a name for a memoir. In just in case later I oh my mind. okay cool I'll tell you <laughs> she's a very good writer I have I have letters from high school that she wrote to me in my journals that are very just I can't believe a high school wrote them this is an INFP's habitat <laughs> messy look at these plants she's taking care of wow. subscribe button <laughs> at the end of every video like subscribe <laughs>